I've never played a loot and boot type game before. If you've played Escape from Tarkov, then you are probably familiar with the playstyle. Basically, here's the rundown. You can play solo or with a friend. I have no friends. You get a contract to find and banish some of the more intense Louisiana populace. You and a bunch of sorry suckers are dropped into the middle of the bayous in Louisiana. You find clues to lead you to the ugly looking mug. Kill said mug and don't get killed in the process. Great. Now you've ran in circles for like five minutes and killed the damn thing. Banish them back to hell, like basically Texas summers. Just remember, all other players will know where you are while you're banishing this sucker. And it takes a few minutes to banish them all the way back to South Texas. Once the Louisiana resident has been banished, it gives you a nice little reward. Nice little, little token. Pick up the token. Now that you have the token, note that while you're holding it, everyone else on the map can see you by just looking at their map. Great, now go kill another Louisiana Bayou pageant winner while being a giant beacon on the map. And now run for dear life to the nearest exit point. Oh, by the way, you have an hour to do this, and if you die, that's it. You lose everything, and you have to go recruit a new hunter. Cool. So what do I like about this game? Well, I love the atmosphere. The bayou in Louisiana, the grayscale, the zombie apocalypse slash demon apocalypse is really cool. The guns and gunplay are really, really pleasing. Um, nothing really feels too janky. Um, everything just feels very smooth. And I love the gun sounds, absolutely love them. The monsters, of course, as well, they're just great. Everyone is unique, has their own uh, specific way of dealing with them, and has you know consequences of if you get too close, etc., etc. Uh, the lore behind it, they actually got a lot of really cool lore, and you unlock more lore as you complete more objectives in the game. The fact that it doesn't feel like an, I'm always finding other players, even though I die to players all the time, it's more of like... I'm about 20 minutes into the gameplay and I've decided to go fight somebody and I realize 1v2 is, is hard. It's, it's very hard. Uh, you can really play, play it sneaky, sneaking around to the next objective and just being very cautious where you're going. Or you can just go around guns blazing. Uh, it does say that you will be punished if you go around with guns blazing, but I've found that it you can do it either way. You just have to be a little more careful when you're shooting everything because everyone will be then gunning for you. But if you have the confidence, then yeah, by all means, go for it. I don't like, though, that there's a time limit. There's a 56, about an hour, you know, 50, I guess it's 56 minutes or 60 minutes. It, there's a time limit, and I don't like that. I don't like having to rush around to get the objective. I'd rather take my time. But I guess there's a time limit because everyone is all going for the same objective. There's only two monsters or two big bosses in each play session. And everybody in the map is going for those same two bosses. So I guess there's no real point in staying around forever because then you just kind of miss the objective. But uh, you have an hour to do really whatever the hell you want. Uh, I found that if you do play solo like I do, I play solo a lot, it's really, really important to be sneaky because, like I said before, 1v2, it does not end well, ever. Now, I haven't really played this game that much in, in retrospect. I've been playing it for a couple of days now, and I've gotten up to, I think, like, level 7. So, I'm still in the new hunter phase you have up until level 15, so that way you don't lose any progress. After which, once you level 15, if your hunter dies, that's it. You have to go recruit a new one. So, it definitely gives you enough time to get up past that learning curve, and I have been finding out, like, new play styles, new routes that I take, and all that good stuff. So, I really think for new players... It's not too daunting, like, oh, wow, I just got a hunter I really like, and I'm just going to lose him right now. So you do get to keep your hunter for the first 15 levels, after which you're screwed. But I will be making a secondary video uh, probably maybe in a couple weeks to a month after I've really had some good time to play this game to give my full review and just general reaction to this game. But so far, so good. I'm absolutely loving this thing, and I cannot wait to to play more I'm just, I'm just, i want to go play more right now so overall right now i give it an 8 out of 10 really awesome game really good play mechanics there's so much more for me to learn i just really wish for fuck's sake that there's a damn snow map it's a requirement to get a full 10 out of 10 from me that there has to be a snow map all right guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like uh comment down below if whatever other kind of videos and challenges you'd like to see me do on here i should be streaming this game uh, I'm not too sure when I'll be streaming it, but 
uh, yeah, check that out and all that good stuff and yada 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 and booty 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 and blah blah blah. 